By the way, I should point out that when I was eight, something happened to me as well. Yes. When I was eight years old, it was in all the papers that a great scientist had just died, and they put a picture of his desk on the front page. That's it. Just a simple picture of the front page of the newspapers of his desk. That desk had a book on it, which was opened. And the caption said, more or less, this is the unfinished manuscript from the greatest scientists of our time. So I said to myself, well, why couldn't he finish it? <laughs> What's so hard that you can't finish it if you're a great scientist? It's a homework problem, right? You go home, you solve it. Or you ask your mom, why couldn't he solve it? So to me, this was a murder mystery. This was greater than any adventure story. I had to know why the greatest scientists of our time couldn't finish something. And then over the years, I found out the guy had a name, Albert Einstein, and that book was the theory of everything. It was unfinished. Well, today I can read that book. I can see all the dead ends and false starts that he made. And I began to realize that he lost his way because he didn't have a physical picture to guide him on the third try. On the first try, he talked about clocks and lightning bolts and meter sticks, and that gave us special relativity, which gave us the atomic bomb. The second great picture was gravity with balls rolling on curved surfaces, and that gave us the Big Bang, creation of the universe, black holes. On the third try, he missed it. He had no picture at all to guide him. In fact, there's a quote I have where he said, I'm still looking. I'm still looking for that picture. He never found it. Well, today we think that picture is string theory. So string theory can unify gravity and this mysterious thing that Einstein didn't like, which is quantum mechanics, or couldn't, couldn't quite pin down and make sense of. That's right. Mother Nature has two hands, a left hand and a right hand. The left hand is a theory of the small. The right hand is a theory of the big. The theory of the small is the quantum theory, the theory of atoms and quarks. The theory of the big is relativity, the theory of black holes, big bangs. The problem is the left hand does not talk to the right hand. They hate each other. <laughs> the left hand is based on discrete particles. The right hand is based on smooth surfaces. How do you put these two things together into a single theory? They hate each other. The greatest minds of our time, the greatest minds of our time worked on this problem and failed. Today, the only one, the only theory that has survived every challenge so far is string theory. That doesn't mean string theory is correct. It could very well be wrong. But right now, it's the only game in town. Some people come up to me and say, Professor, I don't believe in string theory. Give me an alternative. And I tell them, there is none. Get used to it. <laughs> it's the best theory we got. It's the it, only theory we have. It's the only theory we have.